I was sitting here mixing a song and I started thinking about how great my trip was to Nashville to hang out with Billy Decker for a day, thanks to JST plugins. Ready? Hi, we are just about ready to go pick up Rob Morgan. He gets to spend the entire day with me. Oh, woe is he. I am basically beating the hell out of it every day, so if I don't get at least eight to 10 hours, it feels like I've been at a rock concert the night before. So anybody that says engineers sleep too much, tell them to go to hell. Started out, Billy picked me up and took me around the town, showed me all the historic recording studios and buildings and such. How you doing, Rob? Good seeing you. Welcome to Nashville. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. I like like the hills. What kind of trees are these? Tennessee green trees. Soundstage, where I used to work for 17 years. It is the largest multi-room facility in Nashville. Multi-million dollar studio. Wow. And we're going to go see that. I live in a small town, so I haven't had the opportunity to ever sit in the studio with somebody, a real mixer, and watch what they can do, or really? even hear what their monitors sound like. If you know of anybody, <laughs> hey, a good mixer, let me know. Decker. <laughs> all these got blown out, they built condos, now they're all little bars. And the music row officially starts right here, where this roundabout is. The naked statues. Don't ask me why. Music row. I'll give you a grand tour. Yeah. So here's ASCAP. We have to build this entire block used to be beautiful old vintage homes that were gutted out, that were studios, publishing companies. Richard Branson came in, bought the whole block, mowed them down, pissed everybody off, and he's building the Virgin Hotel right. The city likes it because I mean the people the coming, the money and all that, but it's just it's killing the country music history. But I got to see it when it was in the heyday. Yeah. So Every time they get a hit song, they put up a banner for the writers. This is where Doc McGee's office used to be. RCA Victor Studio B. That's Word Curb Music, yep. Here's Reba's place, Reba McIntyre. This is Starstruck Studios. There's Georgetown Mastering. Here's the big radio station, country music radio station. Mercury Records used to be right here. Garth Brooks and his manager own the last three houses on the right side. There is Ocean Way Studio. It's the big church. Now here is 16th Avenue. This is the famous iconic music row. This is Jack's Tracks. This is a big iconic studio. Garth Brooks did all his records in that building. Uh, this is a big publishing company. Big Machine Records is right up here on the left. This building right here, and that was the home to Taylor Swift forever. Uh, I worked in a studio right over here called House of David. This was my first recording gig. In her. There's Big Loud Records. Warner Chapel has a big studio here. I did a Brett Michaels record here. This is a big studio. My friend runs this place. Does a lot of demos. The way, here's Curb, home of, used to be Tim McGraw and now Rodney Atkins. See right there? I mixed that, Rob. Just came out today. Nice. Warner Brothers Records right here. And here is BMI, the huge monstrosity. So that's it. All country music is, for the most wow. part, has been made right here. I can't believe I got to go on a tour through Nashville with Billy Decker. <laughs> <laughs> this building and the building up front is called County Q. And I've done so many projects over there, it's not even funny. Uh, Peter Frampton owns a studio up that way. Way There's another one. Sputnik Sound. Awards Nashville, they're the ones that make all the gold records in Nashville. Guess who's going to eat? Yeah. Here, give him one of these, Rob. <laughs> then we uh, went to his studio and he mixed some songs. It was amazing to watch Billy mix. I mean, he's just like, bam, bam, bam. I picked up a couple skills while I was there. The cabin at Westwood. The cabin, it still looks like a cabin. Yeah, of course it does. It's a big tracking room. I have the room in the back. This is Westwood Studios. I'm back here in the cabin, the little outbuilding. Oh, nice. And this was built in the late 80s, and it became famous when the Dixie Chicks did their album here. Really? Yep. Yeah, it's wonderful. And there's something with audio and wood, Rob. I don't know what it is. Welcome to the cabin at Westwood, Rob.
lot of times if I produce and engineer something and mix it, that's the hardest stuff yeah. for me is oh, to you, mix my own too. stuff. I'd rather just come in cold on a new client yeah. and put my take on it and then it's like, because you're a little detached. But yeah, that front wall was a happy mistake. I mean, it's like a natural diffuser. Oh, absolutely. You know? And then as I started adding stuff, I added the guitars and I'm like, oh, right after the bass. So it's gotta be the bass that I just was messing with beforehand. So I went back, dipped it, done. Okay. 15 dB at what, 11K? 160, so remember I said go right above or below that number so you can be different. That's... Called Snelper, Snare Helper. Snelper. Snelper. And then maybe I'll make one called a Telper that helps the toms. <laughs> and then Telper. one for the kick called Kelper that helps the kick. Then his family showed up. Bill, you have such a great family. What else you got? Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey, I'm Rob. I'm Haley. Nice to meet Haley. you. I've, I've been... seen you singing in here. Yeah. Yeah, you sound great. Oh, oh no, no, no. Yeah, I think I've seen a video of you eating this candy. I'm supposed to eat that? Yeah. It's wonderful. So, talk about the candy. It's from the beautiful country of Sweden. I mixed a Swedish band. They brought me a little thank you, and I've known three people that have not been able to spit it out. Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. So bad. It hurts. <laughs> it's literally so nice. Here, go ahead and just <clears throat> take a small shot and get rid of the taste. <clears throat> <laughs> it's fine. Hey, no, it's, do you just a sip. That's the Chicago know. special. <laughs> <laughs> this is the liquor equivalent. This is all over the internet. It's the worst liquor ever created on Facebook. <laughs> and then we went out on the town on the scooters and and scootered around town and checked out all the cool spots and uh, had some fun experiences. <laughs> visited one of his old uh, stomping grounds, the studio there. Then we went out on the town that night and tore it up at some of the local bars, seen some great bands playing. It was just a great time. I want to thank you, Joey Sturges and JST Plugins for putting on this trip to Nashville. And uh, I just really appreciate it. And I want to say thank you. It's a trip I will never forget in my entire life. Back to mixing. Yeah.